Hi guys, we are on the way to Sagada, to Kalinga, to get a tattoo. So it's 10 hour ride. So now it's a hike. I think it's a motorcycle ride, but I'm scared of motorcycles. Good morning guys, the second day in Buscalan, Kalinga. Right now, the only tattoo artists here are Grace and El Young. Young. Apo is still here, uh, but she only tattoos when she feels like it, because most of the time, I guess she doesn't feel well. They use a bamboo stick, a pomelo or a calamansi thorn and suit mixed with water as ink. I got standing eagle, serpent eagle and snake skin representing strength, freedom, guidance, courage and health. Feeling good. My room is empty. All it has is a guitar and a snare drum. My name was written in the Lonely Planet guidebook. Oh! Yeah. Planet. Even in the Southeast Asian guidebook, you will see my name. So, you were saying when did it start? Um, like more tourists coming after the so documentary? Was, in 1991, most of the tourists I get, people from Europe, white people. Uh -huh. When when Ross Crota made a documentary in two, last 2007, the place stay here for almost one month here, mm -hmm. Ross Crota, make a documentary movie. After watch. one month in 2008, the starting of the Philippines okay. coming here to get tattoo. So before 2007, there were no locals coming here to visit? There's only some, but the very few. There's some. So mostly yeah. only Europeans and foreigners. Yeah. And then when the documentary start, or came out in 2007, more more, more people started come. coming. Especially locals. starting the locals. Yeah, yeah Filipinos. When, the, when people yeah. from Manila come here to get tattoo, yeah. come here after tattoo, mm -hmm. they come back the same way. Uh -huh. Unlike before, when I guide tourists, we are roaming around from different tribes. And all the tattoo artists before, a man, no, not yeah. woman. Mm -hmm. So Wang Ud was the first woman. Wang Ud get the tattoo from Fagai. Uh -huh. Fagai is a man. Fagai. Fagai. So she learned from him how to do tattoos? I think, yeah, just looking for the to, uh -huh. to tattooing and practicing. Yeah. But she started very young. She was 15? Yeah, that's 15. True. 15 years old. Wang Ud also is a. Uh, no, no husband, yes. mm -hmm. but when she was 21 years old, mm -hmm. she had many boyfriends. Oh, yes. She was international playboy. And another meaningful woman, according to Fangu, if you have a tattoo, if you are dying, you always bring your tattoo in heaven. Mm -hmm. you bring you. Ring? No. Nothing. Uh, ring with you. Only the tattoo. Like the documentary Francis mentioned is called Tattoo Hunter, Kalinga of the Philippines. You can easily find it on YouTube. I would actually recommend you watching it before coming to Kalinga, so you can compare how things were back in 2007 and now in 2019. It is quite entertaining, funny and educational. It's also amazing seeing Grace from when she just started learning the art of tattoo at only 10 years of age in the documentary and meeting her in person 12 years later. On our third day in the village when we almost gave up hope of meeting Apo, our tour guide ran in and told us that she was on her way, ecstatic. We rushed downstairs and were first in line to get marked by the legend herself. Now I think like the legend builds up somehow getting born only just three dots yeah. from her is even though Kalinga tattoo doesn't have the same meaning as it used to, I was thrilled to get it from the legendary Abu Wang Od, the oldest tattoo artist in the world. Oh yeah, you might want to ask for a new thorn for your tattoo, because sometimes they forget to change it. And you can also take it with you as a souvenir. We got lucky, cool. we, we got, got picked up by a van and we're going back to Tabok, which is gonna take two and a half hours instead of four hours and the view is amazing. We're in Tabok waiting for the bus. We have about two hours 
And then 10 hours in the bus. Woo! I was excited! We have the back backpacker crew here. Ryan, Mama, <laughs> Dennis, still busy. Still busy. Daniel. 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 How did the teachers call you? Daniel. Daniel. If I'm in trouble, it's Daniel. Daniel. If they're feeling nice, it's hi, Daniel. Daniel. So, like, if if you're naughty, like, they would do an accent on you. Daniel. I guess I should explain the name of this video, the last tattoo of Wang Odd. Um, 2015 was the last year she was actually tattooing people, and now. Ever since then, she's retired, and now when she feels like it, when she feels well, she would only tattoo her signature, um, three dots, which means um, herself, Wang Odd, and then her two apprentices, El Young and Grace. So this one is Wang Odd's. One of her last tattoos. One of her last she, tattoos. Before she retired. Yeah. So. <laughs> This it Point. means shelf, right? Yeah, sturdiness. Sturdiness. Protection. Strength. And then the three dots. He was yeah. lucky enough to get a tattoo from Apple Four Wang. Four years ago. Apple Wang Odd herself. That's why the video is called the last tattoo. <laughs> and then I came back. Oh yeah. Finished it off with, with Grace and Ellie Young, her two apprentices. You can tell the difference in their in their tap work. Yeah. But you know, you can't beat this is from the master. The master herself. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you can make it to Kalinga to get It's actually you. much easier now guys. So You've seen you the road. It's hard. No. Oh, no, the hike the hike is easy. Yeah. It's super easy now. There's a motorcycle taking you basically <laughs> to the doorstep of the village. You <laughs> just have to hike a little bit. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a like, comment, uh, smash. Say bye. Dennis, say bye. Bye. Momo. Bye. I already Ryan. said bye when you were <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. Ryan is sneaky. All right, guys. Bye.